Here's the original video in question with the bus vehicle here making a left hand turn and a motorcycle coming down from the other direction and directly running into the broadside of the vehicle. In this case it was critical to provide measurements to know the positioning of the bus at every point in time, positions of the motorcycle at every point in time, and then to create demonstrative exhibits that allow us to dissolve in from the video into a 3D laser scanned background so we can see the data from more than just a two-dimensional perspective. By using Input Ace's new overlay tool, the video has been now calibrated and is laid on top of a 3D laser scan background. Now that this has been done, we can dissolve in between the video and the 3D background and place the object of a scanned bus into the position that it exists at every single frame of video. This process allows us to project through the image, provide measurements of the bus at any known point in time, and then ultimately allows us to combine this with a demonstrative that can fly from this perspective into a new position to view the data from another angle. When combined together, we can produce demonstratives that look like this. Here, we are playing through frame by frame, pausing and dissolving into the 3D laser scan background, and now flying off the axis of the camera so that we can reproduce the events from another angle. Unlike a common animation, this data is now measurable within a margin of error on every single frame and allows us to provide the jury and the uh, trier of fact in the matter with additional observations from any angle that might be required. With Input Ace, we've taken proprietary video that cannot be played easily on standard computers and produced data that looks like this, which allows the trier of fact to understand much more thoroughly the events in question and experts using the tool can now integrate video directly with 3D laser scan data. To learn more about InputAce, please visit us on the web at www.inputace.com.